Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the arrest video of Long Island Audit, a.k.a. Sean Paul Reyes. In addition, we're going to take a little bit of a dive into that... Uh, civil rights law that he apparently showed on his channel and see what kind of uh, case he's got. And I'll tell you something, I read it and uh, you know what, on its surface it looks like it may be in his favor, but if you actually do some deep dive reading into it, you'll find that, well, he's not exactly entirely correct on it. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Unfortunately, in a few minutes, I am probably going to be arrested by the NYPD, which is very unfortunate. Um, let's hope that that does not happen. So I want to speak to you guys. It's very important, right? Right here, I have a law that was passed in the state of New York. I got it nicely laminated and everything for you guys. This law, is a law that protects our civil rights. So we all know that we have a United States constitutionally protected right under the First Amendment of freedom of press. First of all, there is an argument out there as far as the establishment of the rationale behind not filming inside of a police department to begin with. For instance, the uh, protection of uh, victims' rights because, you know, there are a lot of people that go into police departments to uh, seek help for uh, crimes that were committed against them. And I'm sure that they don't want to be recorded by some idiot with a camera inside of the police department, which is a good reason why to ban them within the police departments themselves. Now, with that being said, all this uh, BS that's been going on as far as uh, the New York frauditors being arrested uh, has been taking place a lot around the police departments themselves, which means they're going in there intentionally trying to cause an issue, which of course they are because they're nothing but a bunch of drama queens to begin with. They want to cause as much drama as they can. Now, what I've been flashing across the screen the whole time has been uh, the uh, civil rights law that uh, Sean Paul Reyes has been talking about in his video. Now, while it does grant the average person the right to uh, film law enforcement officers in the course of their duties, it doesn't say anything about filming them inside of a police department, which is what this whole thing is about anyway. So the lack of any perspective as to where you can film the police is very interesting in this document, which definitely leaves it room for a lot of interpretation to begin with. So there's that. Part. Now, here comes the really interesting part that I need to bring up about this particular law. In paragraph two, it states... Right to record law enforcement related activities. A person not under arrest or in the custody of law enforcement of official has the right to record law enforcement activity and to maintain custody and control of that recording and any property or instruments used by that person to record law enforcement activities, provided, however, that a person in custody or well, let's just go ahead and stop right there and just focus on the first part of that uh, paragraph where it says a person not under arrest or in the custody of law enforcement official. So basically what it's saying here is that if you are under arrest, then you have given up your right to film the officers in the course of their duties. Now, there are plenty of reasons why these idiots get arrested, so therefore uh, they can't exactly film them while they're in the course of their duties. And you know what, Sean? I have watched enough of your videos to understand that it is not the filming issue that is the problem. It is your interference with their duties that becomes the problem. 
because you have a nasty habit of trying to interfere and also go into the places where you are not exactly welcome anyway. So inevitably, you are asked to leave, then trespass, and it escalates into you being arrested. So it's not exactly filming that's at the root of the problem. It's you and your frauditor friends that are most certainly at the root of the problem for acting like a bunch of jackasses. So in the end, this is not exactly a civil rights issue. This is just a issue of you people not acting like normal human beings and acting like a bunch of damn fools. But let's go ahead and continue on with the video because I've rambled enough about this. We're going to be going, ladies and gentlemen, let's take our walk over into the precinct. We're going to show the law enforcement officers, the law enforcement officers, the law, the law. The statute is New York Civil Rights Law 78-P. Uh, Sean, I'm going to have to correct you on that. Even though I just saw you look at that piece of paper, it says 79-P, not 78-P. 78 is the libel and slander law. I mean, uh, do you need your eyesight checked, or is it that you're just lying to everybody again? Because either way, it doesn't look good for you anyway. That's the state law. And then there's also a city law that protects us, that gives us the right to film in police precincts. That's what I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. Well now, Sean, if you're, what you're saying is accurate, then uh, why don't you go in and show that? Otherwise, well, uh, you're both just blowing smoke up our asses again. Many unbearable hours later. All right, we're at the 75th precinct here, guys. We're going in together. You guys um, usually sign a book? You know? we, just, we just get the sign. Well, the sign we're going in together. Sign it so they can read it. We're going to affect change together, um, ladies and gentlemen. No, you can't be recorded in here. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Oh, poor Will guy, Sean Paul Reyes got ignored. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Good, why don't you go home and quiet to your mama about it? Oh, maybe she'll bring you your blankie. And maybe she'll weed you Winnie the Pooh as well to calm you down. Is there a problem with this recording in the precinct? Because we have the law right here that says that we are, are specifically allowed to record in the precinct. Liar! And there you go, lying and twisting the words to benefit you. It does not say anything about the precinct itself, you bloody, dishonest moron. Saying it specifically allows you to do so is a downright freaking lie. So this is the sign that they're always referring to. What do you think holds more weight, ladies and gentlemen? This sign, members of the public are prohibited from audio video recording or photography inside this facility or the actual law? Let's find out. So you can't record. Hey, how you doing? Can I? Can, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually step out. Can I please speak to a supervisor? Out. First, you're gonna have to step out. I have a law right here. You want to take a look at? First, you're gonna have to step out for me. Please don't touch me. Oh, Sean, look at where your pseudo intellectual arguments got you again. Maybe you should try actually being intelligent from this point on. It'll get you a lot further. I'm don't right, touch me. Step out. Don't touch right, me. So don't step touch, out don't touch me. All right, so step out the facility. Don't touch me. Oh, right. right now you're trespassing. Don't touch me. Don't right touch me. Hey, get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Read the law that says I have the right to do it. You're a law enforcement officer. Read the law. It fell over me. I'm going inside where I have the right to record. I do. I have the right to record. Ah, you're trespassing. I'm not. No. I'm not trespassing. I'm not trespassing. Because you're outside. No, I'm not trespassing in a building that I pay for either. There was what no happened? reason. Why'd you put your hands on because me that I day? Because I actually leave and you refused to leave. My paper is there. That uh, doesn't mean I'll, you can I'll put your hands on me. Do me a favor. Grab his paper. 
Let me speak to a supervisor. And see, there you go. Didn't I say it was never about the recording? They kicked him out of the building and they trespassed him. And when he re-enters, that's when he gets arrested because he was trespassed, because he was, well, not abiding by their code of conduct to begin with. And despite what you say, Sean, you can be trespassed from a public building. How many times have you been trespassed from a public building? I don't know. I've lost count a long time ago. No problem. We got one for you. Let me speak to a supervisor. All right, we got one for you. This is ridiculous. All right. you, it's ridiculous Stop that you're not, closer, you're not following you me. Listen. I, just, I, I asked him to leave. You're with him? He refused to leave. Your documents? All right, just stop going closer to me. That's fine. Are, are you, you scared of me or something? Stop. stop. Are you scared of me? You keep coming closer. I but are you scared? You I'm, I'm going into my building. We pay for this building. Yeah, we right. pay for this building. That's right. Back we up. do pay for this building. Back up. You want to talk to a supervisor? Just we back pay up for from me. I'm waiting for the supervisor. All right. All right. My, my property is inside of this right. building right now. My property is inside of this building right now. My property is inside of this building. I'm getting my property. Yo, step back. I'm getting Go step push back. me. Yo, step what are you doing? Step back. Yeah. What Don't are you pushing me back. for? Yo, what are you face. pushing me for? No one's scared of you. Hey, yeah, Sean. We all know that you're a big, tough guy in front of the camera when you're talking to the camera or anything like that. But the moment nobody's recording you, you turn into a little punk. No one's scared of me. No one's scared of me. No one's scared of me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's not my paper. That's not my paper. It's inside. It's inside. What are you pushing on me for, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't touch me. What are you pushing on me for, man? What's wrong with you? You come into the fully sophisticated. No, what is wrong with you guys? For trust, I can't trespass in a public area. Don't touch me. Give me my property. I want my property. So step out like all the doors. My property's inside this building. My property's inside this building. My property's inside this building. Grab me my pop. Grab me my property. I want my property. I want my property. You can't keep me away from my property. I'm gonna go in there. I don't care if you arrest me. I want my property. Oh, Sean, shut up, you dumbass. I mean, you've already proven to me that uh, your arguments are at best pseudo intellectual. So you really don't have any standing in this situation. Grab me, my, grab me my property. You guys are out of control. Look at the law. 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 I'm not resisting. 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 There you go. Read this law, by the way. What am I arrested for? Trespassing. I told you not to step into the police facility. Well, Sean, uh, you just set yourself up for complete failure on this. I mean, you went in there with a pseudo-intellectual argument, like I said before, knowing what was going to happen. I mean, of course you knew exactly what was going to happen. You wanted this arrest to begin with. You knew that this was going to go down, so you knew... What was the consequences were going to be, but you didn't care because you want the sympathy points from all your followers. And that way you can rake in the cash. That's all it is in the end. It's all about the grift, isn't it? You get yourself arrested, gain sympathy points, and then people will start tossing money your way. I mean, that's really pathetic, Sean. Really pathetic. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.